do 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 <laughs> from my last video um yes i was going through the <laughs> the files to get all of the uh the ids so this is as far as i got in my last video loading every program from the main menu and getting the, the file that was missing and writing it down then it occurred to me as i was making the video i'm like wait a second i bet you if i loaded up the file in a hex editor i'm gonna find all of the references in some sort of table in a database and sure enough i did so the format is pretty standard. Um, it's interesting. <laughs> some some are terminated by nulls and some are just padded with with twenties. So with spaces. So it's interesting that uh, that they did that. Now I get it. Um, terminating it would be this, the right way to go. But I'm guessing at one point they made them 18 characters long. That was the maximum. And then later, because of file size, they probably altered the original the algorithm that reads from the table. And they decided, oh, let's start not putting nulls on the end so we can throw some more data in here without um, making the file so, so much larger. Because the file was, the main menu was getting bigger. Remember, this file, this main menu file, had to get downloaded every time you turned on the computer or every time you push the reset button on the computer. Even just pushing the reset button re-downloads the file because it's not in memory. So um, what I did is I made a quick little program here. It's just ugly, terrible, but hey, it works, right? So what I do is I grab the file and then I start parsing it. I move directly to the location um, where the, the, date, the data table starts. And then the pack ID is always uh, three bytes long. Okay, and then my original, when I first did it, I was reading 18 bytes um, because it looked like that's the way it was, right? Like I said, I thought that every field was the same size. Then I realized it was getting offset as I was reading because some are terminated with a null, some are terminated with, uh, with a 0x01, and that's because um, if they're padded, then they'll just go for with 20s until it gets to a null. But if it's not Sorry, if it's not padded, there is no null. And if it um, is padded, then it just, there's a terminator, okay? And then uh, I skip because there's a channel ID. Skip five characters, that's all it needs. Convert the uh, pack ID to hex. And then I just log it out and print it to the screen. And I'll show you what I got. Well, here, why don't we just run it and I'll show you. So we'll run the program and my duet, boom. Okay, so here we go, here we go, here we go. Here's all of the, now don't worry about these. This stuff here is because there actually is little um, delimiters in here based upon categories, it looks like. So you get that every now and then, but it, the program just runs right by it. Now it's interesting in here is that there's a C64 menu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was talking to Leo and also I read online just last night after speaking with Leo, I did some uh, research and I was looking at some old articles that were published when John Kelly, um, at the end of, of NABU, when, when it got split up and then he bought the rest of the assets and then renamed the company, they were trying to make it work with this Commodore 64. Isn't that wild? So the C64 menu, I guess we'll see what happens. Um, I don't think we'll be able to run it, right? Because it's going to download something different. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see what we get if we uh, if we ever get that iOS file, or sorry, the um, the pack file. So look, there's an admin one too. That's kind of neat. All right. So there's a whole bunch of programs here. Now it's a lot of programs. So I've messaged Leo and said, hey, you know, can we get all these for the preservation project we're working on? So. We'll see if he has time to be able to do all this, but he's got the list. And in the meantime, um, I'll post this list inside of the, uh, in the comments so you can all read and enjoy some of the history that's gonna bring back some nostalgic feelings, I think, right? When you start looking at some of these, especially some of these games, Minor 2049, or I mentioned this in my last video, but oh boy, I cannot wait. And of course, um, where is it here? Track and field. Yeah, track and fields in here. Tom, time Pilot. Yeah, good games, really good games. So I'm excited to see them. When I was a kid, I really enjoyed this one, Kitty Park. Um, I don't know if on the Clico you played uh, 
Cabbage Patch Kids. It's kind of, Cabbage Patch Kids is kind of like a pitfall for children, but it's actually pretty hard. Well, Kitty Park is kind of the same thing. You walk around screens and you can swing and remember Donald Duck's Playground? <laughs> well, it's kind of like Donald Duck's Playground. So anyway, so yeah, it was a lot quicker for me to do this than it was to do that. So it took me about an hour to, to make this program or 40 minutes or so. Um, just a few gotchas in there. But I can sanitize it and clean it up, but there's no point, right? This is it. We're, there's never gonna, the file's never gonna change again. So this is, uh, this is Dunzo, Dunzo Washington, as they say. So we'll, um, we'll see if we can get some of these programs. And then what I'm gonna be doing next is uh, taking my main server program here, and I'm gonna build that up. We have the server, I have the server ready to start hosting the files. So once we get those files on the server, then I can put my server, the program, online and people will be able to download it. And then you'll be able to load um, games from the, from the Naboo, from the main screen. So that is probably a couple days away. It really just depends on, on how quickly Leo will give, give us the files and what files he gives us first. And then uh, putting up the, the website and stuff. So. Uh, remember, I still have a life too, so <laughs> it might take a little bit of time, a couple days anyway.